This video today will be about what gear I use because I get asked that question so many times. That is actually probably my most frequently asked question. What gear do you use to produce such high quality uh, images and video? Like that new intro and I have started my official season one. Uh, season one will be titled, uh, I can't remember. <clears throat> season one will be titled Seven Years Into Studying to Be a Pianist. So as you can see behind me I've got my grand piano, da -da -da! my beautiful grand piano, it is a Broadman. Let's get right into it. This video will be divided into two parts. It'll be my basic gear, so something that I would recommend you getting if you were to, uh, if you are wanting to produce higher quality content, uh, both on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook even, uh, and then probably my more advanced section as well in this video, uh, which will just be little accessories that I've gotten along the way, uh, which I didn't start with, but I, I, which camera am I using right now? I am using the Canon EOS M50. Uh, it is retailed now for just under a thousand dollars now, I think. Or it'll be some, something uh, quite cheap now. Before that though, I was using my iPhone. My iPhones are pretty good these days. I had an iPhone 8, just recently upgraded to the iPhone XS, because it is a beast of a thing. Um, and this is the shot I'm getting out at the moment of my XS. And as you can see, you can, you can sort of see my tripod my camera, my little microphone on top, and my lights, which is probably not necessary, uh, but it just fills in a little bit of the shadows. So, what I'd recommend is the Canon EOS M50, definitely. Uh, the other thing I would get for that camera is the Rode Video Micro, I think it's called. Anyway, that's about 60, 70 Australian dollars as well. Um, and it just improves the uh, microphone quality of the camera by a lot. Um, so now I've upgraded to the Zoom H5, which you could probably see behind me, just here. And we'll get into that in a minute. Uh, I do use the Zoom H5 to record my piano, use the video micro for um, speech, for voice, and use the Zoom H5 to record my piano. I'll show you exactly how I record my piano clips. Most of them are on Instagram. Sometimes you do see them here on YouTube. So. So all the audio that you will hear today is unedited. So I wonder what you guys think of that. Uh, that was unedited out of the Zoom H5, connected straight into the camera. I did have to tweak uh, the levels around because the video micro is a different microphone. It's got no man uh, it has no manual controls on it, whereas the Zoom H5 does. I hope you all have found this video sort of interesting and I hope you've got something out of it. So as a video editing software, I use uh, Final Cut Pro. You can use iMovie as well. I was using iMovie for a long time, both on my iPad, my phone, and of course, when I got my laptop, um, and then I just decided to take that extra leap to get more professional editing uh, features. So once you sort of master iMovie, then I would recommend getting Final Cut Pro 10. The other thing I forgot to mention is I would totally recommend a Joby Gorillapod, um, 1K or 3K, so up to one kilogram or three kilograms. This Canon M50 is quite light, uh, and you can use this Gorillapod also with your phone. Um, and any other camera that you sort of have, even a handy cam if you have an old one laying around. If you are looking to get a tripod, would highly recommend again. If you are of course in the studio, uh, shooting a lot in the studio and just need that fixed camera angle. For more advanced accessories and things, I have got this um, 
LED light just recently off eBay. Uh, it has done wonders for me. Uh, honestly, it has filled in so many shadows that I've had recently in the past. Um, and I almost use it in every video now. Uh, so it is very, very handy. Again, it's not probably it's probably not needed if you have enough lighting in your studio or if you're outdoors, you definitely don't need it. Uh, but I've just found that it does fill in a lot of the shadows and a lot of the blanks a lot of the time. Um, so I would highly recommend getting that. Uh, would also highly recommend getting a cage for your Canon M50 that just enables you a few more extra slots uh, to sort of put things and very it, it makes it very customizable. Um, if you get a, an LED screen later on, that's probably one of my next upgrades. Uh, it never stops, to be honest, when you're a creative, but um, I love it. Uh, oh, the other thing is you can get a wide angle lens for your phone if it's just not, if you've got a crammed studio sort of like I do. I've taken up uh, one garage here in the studio, so sometimes it gets a little bit tight and the iPhone just doesn't cut it when I need something, you know, when I need a certain shot or something. So I, ha I have a wide angle lens from Sandmark, absolutely the best quality that you can get. Um, not sponsored by the way, but do check out Moment lenses too, they were just a little bit more expensive for my liking. So if you have any other questions or comments, please leave them down below, that's what the comment section's for. Would love to see uh, some more questions, some more things that you guys are intrigued with, um, and I will do my best to answer all those questions, and perhaps make another video. Uh, to answer those questions as well. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I've convinced you to subscribe for more and like the video below and I'll see you in the next one.